pretty wild. I gotta admit, I just landed a few hours ago and now I'm really feeling like a, a Durbanite. I don't know if that's the right word. If that's what you call them, people from Durban, but I'm feeling like a Durbanite right now. Focus, man. that like button I'm putting in work out here I swear to y'all I'm putting in work what's good everybody so I've literally just arrived in my apartment in Durban so you can see you got the Wi-Fi right there you got your TV it's a small one but it'll do the job because we didn't come here to watch TV we came here for the views and you don't get views much better than that. I can see the ocean right from my living room. And right around the corner is one of the biggest malls in Durban. So let's bring it back. All right, so we got a medium sized living room. We got the kitchen connected, microwave, oven everything that you need is right here and as you can see you got a lot of natural light coming through got the fridge let's see if they left me anything now they didn't all right we're just gonna keep it pushing over here we got the bathroom where's the light switch there we go standard bathroom okay this is interesting so you have the shower which is separate and then you have the bathtub I didn't know I had both but it's nice to have options I've got options I've got options baby alright no more singing from me I promise okay I guess this is some kind of old fashioned air conditioning never seen one quite like this and we got another view here of the outside of the building so it's a very oh you got the swimming pool over here too okay so you got a community pool right here looks like nobody's over there in it might be a good idea because it's the afternoon it's getting warm might be a good idea to cool off with that this is not the biggest place that I've stayed in, as you would know if you've seen some of my older videos, but it's gonna work. I'm not gonna be here that long, and it will do. So I didn't tell you guys when I first came in, but the very first thing I saw was a monkey in the apartment complex. As soon as you come in through the gate into the apartment, there was a big monkey. It was a gray, uh, I don't even know what kind of monkey, maybe a baboon. They have signs everywhere saying do not feed the monkeys. So I'm gonna make sure that I do not feed the monkeys and I'm gonna make sure I have these windows closed because they will explore and come in my apartment and try and get some food. So I just gotta be aware of that.
So this is my first time coming to the beach here in Durban. Unfortunately, it's cloudy, but we'll see if it lives up to the hype. All right, those waves look crazy. So I will not be swimming today. I can tell you that much. One minute you're in an urban area and then before you know it, bam, you're right out here in nature with me going on this trek. This is pretty wild. I gotta admit, I just landed a few hours ago and now I'm really feeling like a, a Durbanite. I don't know if that's the right word. If that's what you call them, people from Durban, but I'm feeling like a Durbanite right now. Yes, sir. So my food just came. I'm here in the center of Umschlange, or however you pronounce that. And I'm at a restaurant called Dopio Zero. I got my chicken burger here. I don't usually do the burgers, but I was like, let me try something different. Fresh fries. And, you know, I gotta have the wings over here. That's how we doing it today. Another gorgeous sunny day here right by the coast in South Africa. What's good everybody? Another day. We out here today in Durban, South Africa. And I want to show you guys a place called the Breakfast Room. Okay, so if you wake up late like me, I'm sorry guys, I wake up late a lot of times. And you still want to get your breakfast on, you want to get your waffles, you want to get your pancakes. This will be a place, a very nice option here in Durban. This place is located near the coast in the southern part of the city so I decided to pop in here and if you look at the front of the building it doesn't look like you know maybe that impressive like it's even a restaurant they don't have a really big sign in the front but trust me guys it's a nice spot so I went ahead I ordered the chicken and waffles and I'm going to show you in a second what that looks like so come along with me we're going to go right inside Alright, so my food just came up. We got the nice southern fried chicken, waffles, and some bacon on the side. And this is a blueberry avocado banana smoothie. And that's how we're doing it today. So we got that syrup on there. Let's see what the waffles are working with.
these waffles are very fluffy, soft, warm, everything you would look for in a waffle, they got it. This is what the chicken looks like. It's got a very heavy uh, batter, so we'll see what that tastes like. So they fried this really well. The bacon is also very nice and crisp, so I have no complaints. Everything has been amazing. Welcome to South Beach. We in South Beach, it's not Miami, it's South Beach, Durban. There it is, welcome to South Beach. Focus, man.